God, I needed to try to get him in that number one spot. And I already I had recognized that my reality was that he wasn't there. And so I got into my car and I put on King Love. And then this the this song was playing. And then these uh, th these are the words that I heard. So I'm, can, can we turn the slideshow back on and let's go to the part that says um, make me move. Alright, so picture this. I'm like all depressed already because I'm like, dang you, I suck. Like, how did this happen? And then I'm like, Jesus, help me. And then I get into my car, put on cable, turn on the car. Oh yeah, and I'm mad because my heater takes my long time. So I'm like, So I can be yours. So I want to go The more that you go, the same in the darkness. I know you will hold me. Make me lonely. Needless to say, it was a wrap right there. I was just like, You know, I kept praying about the, whole, the situation. Then a couple of days later, I got into the car again, the front came up, and then I hear the song. It's a it's a funny. And I'm like, oh snap. But then, but this time I heard I heard a different verse. So let's go to make me happy. Make me happy. Make me happy. And then this is what I hear. Make So I can be filled Cause I'm still holding On to my will And I'm completed When you are with me You make me empty So just hearing that at that moment was really powerful for me Cause I knew that listening to that song a second time it wasn't like a coincidence. Like it wasn't like, oh yeah, come on. No, it was like, for me, it was clear evidence that God was with me and that he was working to help me through a difficult time. And I started praying more with that song in mind. I started just like trying to pray with those words. And um, I'm in a much better place now than I was at that moment. And I just want to encourage you all to not be afraid of letting the Lord find you, um, no matter where you are, because, you know, Haley said something in her talk two weeks ago that it just, like, it stayed with me. She said that when we lie, when we're lying to God, He knows all things. So we're not really lying to God. The only person that we're lying to is ourselves. And no matter how ugly you feel like your situation might be, I just want to encourage you to let him find you wherever you're at. Because no matter where you're at, there's no place that God can't reach you. you know, Jesus is the light, and there's no darkness that's too dark for him. And one of my favorite songs, Psalms 139, says that even if I pass my bed in the depths of hell, there shall the Lord find me. So let's trust in that. You know, let us uh, just ask God to meet us where we're at and may He find us and may He carry us to Him. For although God without man is unchanged, man without God is nothing. And we have to recognize that. God is God regardless of anything. But we, without Him, we're nothing. I have confidence that if we pray and we wait, we will see what we wait for. So I'm just going to give everybody a moment to, um, I don't know, to just really just pray from right there from where you're at. And just between you and God, um, really think about where you are in your relationship with Regardless of what your situation might be.
And after, after I give you that moment, the way that we're going to close this prayer, the, this um, talk is, we're going to pray that Psalm 56 from verse 8 um, in confidence. Because it talks about how God, He's very attentive to us. The Psalm says that He has even kept the record of all of our tears. And that's something that's really powerful. So, we'll say that song, and then afterwards, we're going to sing this song um, that's called Keep Me. So, does anybody want to dim the lights a little bit so that people can you know, get into that prayer song? But yeah, just reflect on it for, for, for a moment. Lord, help us to see where we're at. Help us to see where you want us to go. And we pray that you might come find us where we are. Holy Spirit, come and reveal to us. Reveal to us where we are.